Fans, back in 1987, I first introduced this man right here on this very same television station, TBS. And it thrills me every time to say his name. Stand up wherever you are. Ladies and gentlemen, here is through and through, there's no doubt, a living legend. And if he needs time, he can come out and talk, I'm sure, as long as he wants, or do whatever he wants. I'm not quite sure what the future means for the great Stinger. Maybe we'll find out right now. Oh! You know, I can remember about 30 some years ago, the first time I ever did that to the crowd and they wooed back, I couldn't believe it. All these years later, here I am. Well, uh, shall I say the word? All right, before, before I say the word, I just, I wanna reflect a little bit with all of you. Is that okay, we just reflect? Because that word makes me wanna reflect a little bit. It makes me think about all the years Traveling up and down the road with guys like the Total Package, Lex Luger. Rick and Scotty Steiner, Buff Bagwell. There's some names from the past. Yeah, but I'd travel up and down with these guys all the time and, you know, we'd look at the generation ahead of us. The guys that shaped my career, guys like Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes being the most charismatic human being I've ever seen in my whole life. Unreal, Dusty, love you. Hulk Hogan. Okay, I hear you, I hear you. But Hulk Hogan transcended wrestling, and I did learn something from the guy. So I gotta give something to him on that. But one of the guys I really want to give a lot to is the nature boy, Ric Flair. Thank you, Rick. Thank you for all the moments. I remember the Clash of Champions 1988, the very first world title match that I had with you, and you put me on the map. What a moment that was. And then in 1990, the Great American Bash, Baltimore, Maryland, World title match, this time I come out the victor, Rick. Thank you once again, Nature Boy. <laughs> no, thank you, thank you. We used to wonder though, what makes these guys want to come back year after year, decade after decade. What more do they have to prove? And I got to tell you, <laughs> here I am all these years later. And I understand why they hung on. It's, it's the smell of the arenas. It's, it's the camaraderie on the road with the guys traveling all over the globe. It is the roar of you, the fans. Woo! That's what makes us keep coming back for more. Does my body do the same thing it did 20 years ago? No. Should I be jumping off of balconies? Okay, well, we'll talk about that. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. So getting back to that, that word, that word, it makes me, 
before I quite get there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, he retired once already. Yeah, I said the word retire. But I got to tell you, that retirement in 2015 just didn't sit right with me. And besides that, there was one very key moment in my retirement speech that I made. The only thing for sure about Sting is nothing's for sure. Which brings me now to the word retirement again. No, I, I want to address it right here, live and in color, on Dynamite in the great state of Texas. Okay, yeah, right here in Rosenberg, Texas. Wow, what a mixed crowd tonight. <laughs> I don't care though, this is, this is my moment. This is your moment. I wanna share it with you. So here goes. I started my very first match with AEW was Revolution 2021. And my very last match will be Revolution 2024. <laughs> one more key, one more key thing that you guys all need to know. The only thing for sure about Sting is my retirement, Revolution 2024, is for sure. Wow. Massive announcement by the icon Sting winding down his Hall of Fame career. Getting a standing ovation here by a live, live crowd. Revolution 2024. The icon Sting will call it a career.